Hi, today I want to talk to you about what it's like to do your paddy open water scuba diving course in Thailand. So in the middle of last year my friends and I decided that it was finally time to go do the course, especially given we are planning on buying that catamaran in the next year or so. Now we did it in the middle of the year and there are actually two reasons for that. The first was we really wanted to do the course on the island of Copenhagen and I will touch on that later. And the second was we were already planning a trip to Thailand to go wakeboarding. Thailand there's a number of places you can go and do the course but choose your place depending on the time of the year. In June July which is when we went you're better off going into the Gulf of Thailand because the visibility is better whereas if you're going at the end of the year apparently the Indian Ocean around Phuket is better. The reason I chose Copenhagen for the course is we've been there a few times before we love the people love the food and it's really easy to get to from Bangkok. So one of the first things we did after settling on Copenhagen was pull out the shortlist of dive schools that we made at home. Now our shortlist was based on a number of different factors including the online reviews, the price and what each school offered within their course. So we jumped on the scooters one day with the intention of speaking to all the different dive schools but ended up settling on the first one we spoke to which was Pirate Divers. So we dealt with Julian and aside from just clicking with him like personally uh, we appreciated his approach to how he was going to structure the course for us, especially given I was overcoming an ear infection at the time, and in regards to negotiating the price. One thing we knew that we wouldn't want to book when we were planning our trip to Copenhagen was our accommodation, because to us it makes a lot more sense to choose a hotel that's close to the dive school. So after speaking to Julian, we did ask him, do you have any recommendations for nearby hotels? He gave us one and obviously we went to check it out for ourselves and we were really pleasantly surprised. So it was called Dolphin Bay Resort. It was run by a really friendly South African couple called Byron and Bianca. The resort itself, it's not huge, so you do get that privacy. And right next to it is a beach and it, because it's the only resort on that beach, you basically have exclusive access to it. And the pool at the resort is actually hired out to a lot of the dive schools, so we were able to do our pool spills in the pool that was 15 metres from our room, which was just really convenient. Alright, so the paddy course is four days. Day one. Day one is boring. Day one is watching videos, hours of videos, and then at the end of it you do a test, and if you can sit through all that, day one is complete. Day two, you're in the pool. So day two, our instructor Storm met us down at our resort, Dolphin Bay. He brought all of the diving gear and we spent probably four or five hours in the hotel pool just learning all the skills we needed to learn. Day three. So on day three, we had to be at Pirate Divers quite early so that we could collect our gear and take it down to the nearest beach, which was Hadsalat. Now that beach is quite shallow, so we did have to wade out and then use the boat channel. But once we were out behind the reef, uh, we went down to probably 10 metres in depth and practiced all the skills that we'd learnt in the pool. Now we were really lucky because Storm said it was some of the best visibility that they'd had in months, so we were able to see a lot while we were down there as well. Day four. Now in my opinion, day four is the best day because that's the day we got to go to Sail Rock. So Sail Rock's halfway in between Koh Tao and Copenhagen. And from Copenhagen, it takes about an hour and a half, depending on which boat you're on. Once we arrived, we had a bit of a briefing, got organized, and then we were able to jump in the water, which is what I want to show you now.
Rock is broken into two parts, the morning dive and the afternoon dive. Each one lasts around about 45 minutes, but it depends on how quickly you're using your air. If you swim quite vigorously or you're taking deep breaths, you will use it faster so you won't be able to stay down as long. Once we finished our morning dive, we popped back on the boat for some lunch and then had to reset our gear, put a new air tank on, and when all that was done and we were ready, we were able to go down for part two. of what it's like to do your paddy open water scuba diver course in Thailand. We really enjoyed doing it, don't regret doing it in Thailand at all. The whole process was really smooth, really flexible and all of our paperwork turned up in the mail no problems a couple months later. Okay.